G'day everyone, Greg here from Fish Blade Films, and I'm just importing some rough footage from the old iPhone that I've uploaded to Instagram. Those, those of you who don't know, I have an Instagram page that's mainly just a uh, advertisement for Fish Plate Films on YouTube. But anyway, I do just a, a, the old rough iPhone uh, video for Instagram, and I thought, well, my YouTube followers are missing out, so I'm just uploading... Uh, half a dozen clips that I've shot from my phone on the phone very rough No, we're not going down that standard of photography at all. You should know me better than that But don't worry, my YouTube is missing out because my Instagram followers can come over to YouTube and have a look if they decide to Grow up and have a look at a big screen <coughs> Anyway, uh, and get the proper uh, video experience that is Frisco film uh, Anyway, so that's coming up also coming up is a review on the Atlas Masterline Centerbeam cars. Now, a few people have done these. Uh, I'm tuning these up a little bit because Atlas supply them with metal wheel sets, but they forget to tell you that they're plastic axles. And plastic axles bend very much. You can't see it there, but they flex a hell of a lot. Also, plastic on plastic creates a lot more drag than metal on plastic. And uh, these things, like the beautiful Atlas uh, four bay DDG hoppers or drier distilled grain hoppers, I have about 20 of them that will not roll on a 2% grade, so they're all, all getting upgraded with metal wheel sets from Intermountain. As is these, because these won't roll hardly on a 2% grade either because of their metal, uh, sorry, their plastic axles. So upgrading all them, the only problem is that the Wheel sets are into mountain going into an Atlas truck. So uh, there's a, a bit of a height difference there because the axles are the wrong length and uh, slightly. So anyway, I'll show you how I fix that and tune them up to run 100% uh, better than what they do. But they're a very nice car apart from that. Uh, what else? Uh, still practicing a scenery update on the Birdwood Sub. I know it's been a long time, but uh, a little bit challenging and I'm not happy with the results I'm getting at the moment so I'm not going to show you what I'm doing until I'm happy with the results so that's probably come up in a few more weeks time just got back from uh, Mount Lofty again and got some very nice footage not at the station this time but down the track a little bit so that's interesting and also got a train stopped at the station which I've never seen before that had to start off on the grade so that's some nice sounds coming there too anyway that's it this is sort of a little bit of update update isn't it but uh, anyway, we're still around, obviously, and busy working. Busy working on the real railway, too. So that always takes up a lot of time. We do more shift work now, unfortunately. But uh, anyway, that's the price you pay for working on the railroad. So enjoy these clips. Now, do remember, they're only shot on the phone for Instagram. They're not the YouTube. There's better YouTube ones coming up with the proper camera. And enjoy them. And uh, we'll see you again on the Birdwood Sub with an update very, very soon. Hooray for now. Bye-bye.